What's up, print fam? It is 9.15 p.m. on Wednesday. I just got to Walmart. I've got to get some supplies for the night to complete some of the jobs. Just some tape and a couple of other things that I ran out of. So I'm here to get that. And Bob's not coming over tonight. I forgot what I was going to say. Bob's not coming over tonight. So it's just going to be you and me. The night is going to be full of heat transfer again. Bob's actually been helping me. So thank you, Bob, for getting a good chunk of the big order that I'm doing. We got those cut and he's been weeding them. I've got another order of 45 that has to be done for tomorrow, along with some print and cut heat transfer that needs to be done for tomorrow as well. So those are the two crucial things. And then I do have a few other HTV orders that I may or may not get to. Tomorrow though, look forward to banner printing and something else that Bob has to do. And today is Wednesday and the printer did not come. I messaged Konica and was like, what the deal? And it's coming Friday. So between nine and noon on Friday, the new printer will be here. So let's get into Walmart, get what we need, get back to the office and start weeding. See you in a bit. All right, print fam, back from Walmart. I had an enjoyable time, ran into one of my buddies from high school and we're actually gonna get together and see what we can do to collaborate on a few things. So I look forward to that. Um, got some more freezer paper since Bob has all mine. So, sorry Bob, I know you watch this. Now we have lots of extra. So, freezer paper, I've gotta get these heat transfers done. So I'm gonna put my head down and do it. Uh, maybe I'll set up a time lapse on the cutter so you can watch it do its thing. Let's do that. Roll the fudge cam. Reprint fam, like always, the heat transfers are taking me longer than usual to do. It's about 1.30 right now. I've got one more set of 15 to get done. I got the white and the silver done, and I gotta do the black. So, they're all the same design. They're not that bad to weed, they're just taking a while to do. I was gonna do some print and cut, but I decided not to do that tonight because by the time I get done, with these transfers, it's going to be probably two o'clock, so two o'clock club. I did print another batch of white that goes with the print and cut, but it's not gonna happen tonight. So, I wanted to show you my vinyl wall and get your opinion. So, this actually went up in a earlier video of organization, but let me turn the camera around and get your opinion. So I bought this. The purpose of this is you hold tubes on it. And I'm trying to see if I can find a tube, which I don't think I have one handy. But basically, you can flip this the other way around so that they're pointing up and you can slide the tubes on it. My question is, because I now have the extended office where I didn't have it before, would you take this and put it out there, which I'll show you there in a minute, or would you put it kind of on this wall, knowing that the media storage is going to move to right there where that one is? So would you put it in spot number one here on this wall? I want to get a second one because as you can see, I'm running out of space up there trying to keep it organized. I've got a stretch there and the standard there. So again, would you put it in spot number one over here or behind curtain number two? Let's turn the lights on. Knowing that this is a temporary wall and it will go away, would you put it over there? So on wall number two. So, or spot number two. Would you put it with the paper storage or inside with 
the cutter. Please let me know what you would do. And also you probably noticed the printer didn't come today. I think I told you. At this point it has been scheduled to come Friday between nine and noon. So I really need it. So that's gonna go right here, right where the Rico was. It is a little bit longer and I still have some stuff to clean up. We got a crib from my brother-in-law. So gotta take that in the house. I think I had it in around here before. Gotta find a new place for the ladder. So this area will be cleaned up. It's gonna be media storage right here for the rolls and then everything else as is. The Duplo is kind of just hanging out back there because I don't know where it's gonna go, if it's gonna fit at the end again. I will make sure I do a full tour when everything has settled down. So again, would you put a spot number two, temporary wall, or spot number one inside the main office next to the cutter? Drop a comment. I'll check in as soon as the rest of these transfers are done. Holy cow, print fam. It is 3.20 in the morning. I've got one more batch of heat transfers just being cut. I got some gray and black cut. So the only thing left is the print and cut, which I didn't want to do that tonight. But I am gonna call it a night. So as soon as this is done, I'll turn the cutter off and go to bed. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to vote on whether you do spot number one or spot number two for the vinyl storage. Stick along for the journey. Like I said, the new printer comes in just a couple of days. I'm super excited. Heat transfer's done. So thanks print fam. Thanks Cam. Appreciate you editing all the videos. You rock. And we'll see you next time. Oh, almost forgot. I didn't mean my goal. And just in case you're wondering or you're new and you don't know what the goal is, the goal is to earn a thousand dollars a day. The average kind of profit-ish <laughs> in the print industry is, print and promotion I should say, is about 50%. So my goal is to make a thousand a day so that the profit is roughly 500 so that it can cover all the expenses along with trying to pay me something because to date my business hasn't paid me anything so the goal is a thousand dollars a day again appreciate you watching i didn't meet my goal thanks again cam see you next time for fam